If you have a vision of your village, you can do a good business in your village. If your vision for whole career, you do the business in the whole career. If your vision in America, you have a vision there. So first, you have to think about how big you think, and do things in the detail. When I started, I put the Bill Gates as my model, role model. I put Warren Buffett role model. I got more disappointed. Oh my God! How, where can I be at this Bill Gates? <laughs> and you, when you put the role model is that big, it's it's very frustrating. Then I think about the Uncle Wong, my next door, and Aunt Lee, only <laughs> my next door. They work pretty well. So I start to think, hmm, let me serve this, and one day I can serve more people. That was the beginning. Guys, I tell you the day, the first week when I launched the Taobao.com, the AliTaobao.com, nobody come to sell, nobody come to buy because there's nothing to sell. So in the in my office, we have seven people. We buy, we sell ourselves, <laughs> right? And the first the first ten days, some people start to try to sell something. We buy everything, so we buy a whole house of things for no use, just to. Just people come to sell, so little by little we build up our business. Little by little we build up our ecosystem of the infrastructure. I invited the 24 friends to my home, telling them about what is internet for two hours. That was 1994, and nobody believed it. And finally, we had a vote. 23 people said, "Forget it," right? And only one person said, "Try it." So. I think I have to try it because I believe it. Whether people believe or not, I believe it.、Mm. Then I have to make people who working together with me believe it together, and then the time comes. When I start my business in 1992, it was so difficult.、Mm. I tried to borrow 3,000 U.S. dollars from the banks.、It、took me three months, but I still cannot get it. And when I said 1994, I tried to register an internet company. I could not do it because so difficult. All the processing, and you cannot get the money, cannot rent the office. And then、uh, when I started Alibaba, it was still very difficult. And I think big companies, the government to help. Foreign companies, the the American market, the the stock market to help. Small business, nobody help. If we can create something by using internet to help the small business, empower the small business, and make help the small business grow strong, that will be the unique value that we, the internet can help. So that was big, begun. I think since nobody helped me, if we can help the others, it will be a huge opportunity. That is the dream, and that become our mission. So everybody join our company. We will ask him. We. Our job, our mission is to help others doing business easier. If you agree with that, working together with us, welcome. If you don't agree with it, there are, there are a lot of good opportunities there, and just to join them, because we think this is our mission, and we've been doing that for 16 years, and I think we will do make another 86 years working on that. In the day when I started Alibaba, I ask my my colleague. To record and tape everything, everything we talk, all the meetings, we, we've been we've been putting a whole house of tapes in the past 16 years. We want recorded. I told my friends and myself, if Jack Ma can be successful, 80 percent of the people in China can be successful. Till now, we did not borrow even one dollar from the bank. We do not have even one dollar from the government. We do everything ourselves. So, honestly, the eighteen founders in my apartment, forty percent of them are my students. Another forty percent of my friends. So they have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> And when we have a hundred people, well, when we start to do something, all the companies came to us. And and, and grab my people. It was funny that、um, those great people have a vision of themselves. That they always have、uh, some new ideas. They were taken away from、uh, the other companies. 
those people stay in the companies they're not very smart like me we believe what we're doing so nobody come to head hunting us so we have no choice we stay there after 10 years we're successful the very important is that you believe it we believe this thing and we see why we be it's not about revenue the f emails of thanks from customers are the best revenue and also the the employees knows wow this is something because we didn't have revenue I told you one story I went to a restaurant when I finished my eating I there somebody came in with a piece of paper say hi Jack I'm a user of Alibaba I know you did not make money so I pay your bill oh. <laughs> for these things happen a lot I went to a, 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 you know, a bar, some people give me a cigar, say, thank you for your website. I know you did not make money, I just a small gift. So these things tell us, this thing is good, if we keep on working. And after 10 years, it really become great. So, little by little, we build up our business. Little by little, we build up our ecosystem of the infrastructure. I think opportunity is everywhere. Honestly, when people think about internet is the future, 10 years ago, internet was so good. No, when nobody believed internet was so good. Now internet is so tough because all the smart people go to internet. So you should go to the off ground. There are so many opportunities. If you run a restaurant, if you're really interested in running a restaurant in Korea, using IT technology to making sure the restaurant is perfect and unique. If you want to open a barber shop, making sure you use the IT technology and data technology, be the different. It's not only the high tech that works. There are a lot of business. If you're using IT better, that'd be fantastic, right? So, uh, Prime Minister said, "I'm a genius." I don't think I'm a genius, uh, and um, I would love to be a genius, <laughs> but. When I sit next to Bill Gates, I think I'm a genius. When I speak Chinese, he cannot speak. <laughs> when I speak English, well, we both, it's not bad. You have to, we all have to think opposite. When everybody agree, wait one minute, one minute, think about it. Is that right? Is there an opportunity? When everybody against it, just wait for one minute, think about it. So 25 years old, don't worry, any mistake is an income, is a wonderful revenue for you. So I told myself and told my young people, before 20 years old, be a good student. When you do entrepreneur, just learn some experience. Before 30 years old, follow somebody. Go to a small company. Normally in a big company, it is good to learn processing. You are a part of a big machine. But when you go to a small company, you learn the passion, you learn the dreams. You learn how to do a lot of things at one, one time. So before 30 years old, it's not which company you go, it's which boss you follow. It's very important. A good boss teach you differently. And before, from 30 to 40 years old, you have to think very clearly, you're working for yourself. If you really want to be an entrepreneur. When you're 40 to 50 years old, you have to do all the things that you are good at. Don't try to drop into the new area. It's too late. You may be successful, but the, the rate of dying is too big. So 40 to 50, think about how can you focus on things that you are good at. But when you are 50 to 60 years old, work for the young people. Because young people can do better than you. So rely on them, invest on them, making sure they're good. So when you are over 60 years old, spend time for yourself. On the beach, sunshine. <laughs> right? It's too late for you to change normally. But I, this is my, my advice to the young people. 25 years old, make enough mistakes. Don't worry. You fall, you stand up. You fall, you stand up. Enjoy it. I mean, 25 oh. years old. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. First, it's not easy to attract investment uh, for any startups. 
Um, my CFO, Joseph Tsai, and I went to Silicon Valley for the first time, 1999 to the year 2000. We talked to over I don't know, 30 or 40 venture capitalists. Everybody said, no, forget it. So we gathered 50,000 US dollars from 18 founders. We started. And um, the very important thing is, is that <clears throat> You always have to prepare for at least one year money before you go on the road. I agree that everybody, it's so difficult to convince your wife, your, your parents, and your, your girlfriend to do that. But if you can convince somebody for the first round of money, no matter how big the vision is, you have to start from the small things. Easy, secure, start to move. The first move have to be a little bit secure. Always pick up some easy things and uh, try to convince those people who trust you to raise the money first. Remember one thing, that's the secret sauce. Always raise money when you have money. All right? When you don't have money, you're in trouble. Don't go out to raise money. So when you have the money, start to think about how can I raise money because the winter is coming. How? Always think about prepare for the winters. So my philosophy is Repair the roof while it is sunshine. When it rings, don't move. Keep it, right? So that is the first round of money the bank will not give you. But it's okay. Raise a little bit of money, prove it and a little more, prove it a little more. That's everybody goes like that. Most of the times the venture capitalists to give you the money not only because of the business plan, because of the team you have, who working together with you, and who are these people, what's your experience, what's your record. I think raising money is not that difficult today. Trust me, it's much, there's too much money here. Because people got crazy. The money, the must, everybody, everywhere is the money. But the thing is that you have a good team, Good dream, relaxed plan, and good record. When you have that, I bet you will get the money. Don't worry about the money. Money follow the people. People should follow the dreams. And the dream should follow the execution capability. When that thing happens, the money will come. Okay. And the day when I will, I'm going to write a book, which I don't know whether I can write it, but the book I want to write about is Alibaba 1001 mistakes. Okay. So many mistakes we have, and this is the best assets we have. So don't worry about it, we'll make mistakes. Don't worry about that, just to go ahead if you have a dream. Well, nobody can guarantee. Nobody can guarantee we'll be successful, right? So I think the only thing that can guarantee our success is keep the passion, keep believing the future, keep on investing the young people, and keep on the mission that helping others doing success. If we keep on that, we have the chance to be successful. If we think, well, we are rich enough, let's enjoy the life, and now we, uh, that will never work. Right. And now, we get more competitors. All the guys, entrepreneurs, if you do business, you will always have a com competition. Don't worry about the competition, because your competitors also worry about you. Right, so don't worry. Competition is a very important, a fun part of the game in the business. So the competitors will never kill you. You will kill yourself by not serving your customer better. So if you ask me what can make Alibaba go longer, I want to make you guys, young people, join company like Alibaba. Open shops on Alibaba, on Taobao. Okay. Thank you. And then that will keep it. And we help you, you help us. That's, it's the, about helping each other, and then you will be successful. When you employ a new person, what do you mostly see? Well, I think it's difficult to looking for a job at any time, not only today. Because when I tried looking for a job, I failed more than 30 times. So it's, it's not rare that so can, I cannot find a job. But when I'm looking for you, young people, I don't, normally I don't read their, which university they graduate. Because 
no matter your PhD degree or master degree or bachelor degree, that only a receipt that you have paid that much money study. <laughs> the real school is in the society. When you find a job, and prove that what you have learned really make things different. So I love to see the people with passion. <clears throat> I love to see the people ready to learn. Not say I'm a PhD, I'm a doctor, so I don't have to learn. No, it's new to anybody when you go to the society. So these are the the passion for future, optimistic, ready to learn, and never give up. These are the qualities that we would love to have young people to have.